dearth. Um, dearth is simply means the lack of something. And for us as beekeepers, the lack of something is um, the nectar and, and, and pollen to a large extent. I have done some research back into beginner beekeeping books, and it's very surprising that the whole subject of dearth is not discussed. And I personally think that dearth is one of the most critical times for beekeeping, and, and particularly for a beginner beekeeping keeper to understand that. So what happens, and typically what you need to do and think about is if you're going to harvest your honey, you should try to do it prior to the dearth. Now the dearth is a hard time to figure out when it's gonna happen, but all of us know when summer is there. Uh, one of the reasons you wanna to try to extract your honey before the dearth is the bees recognize that they, the, the, the summer is there, there's a lack of resource for them to go gather. They then will begin to get more aggressive. And you certainly don't wanna be going into a hive trying to extract honey during when a period of when the, when the bees are very aggressive. The other thing is that the, 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 the hives start losing the amount of resource and they've come from a period when there was a lot of resource and so there's a lot of bees. And so as those, those bees slowly die off, but you still got a lot of bees and they're consuming a lot of resource that they're not replacing. So there then becomes a tendency for robbing the weaker hives. So you need to start thinking about what am I gonna to do to protect the weaker hives? And there's some things you can do. Um, one is try to feed your bees um, some supplement. Uh, the, the, the supplement being the sugar water. The other thing that you need to think about is reducing your hive entrance, uh, particularly to the, the weaker hives. Weaker hives by that is maybe you caught a swarm, maybe you've started a nuke. Uh, just a, a new hive that's struggling to get along, they won't be able to defend themselves and, and those other bees that come from the bigger, stronger hives will simply rob them, take all the resources and, and that hive won't have a chance to live. So the dearth is a very critical time. The other thing that you can pick up some, some tips on when the dearth is occurring is watch your bees. Uh, normally when they're coming out of the hive, during good nectar flow time, they're coming out with a purpose, they come out and they take off. When it's in the dearth, they'll come out kind of slow, kind of sluggish and uh, not really have a purpose. They'll also begin to start going to flowers that are kind of their second source. It's not the primary source and they're, they're looking for any nectar they can find. You'll also notice that a lot of the bees will be flying low to the ground looking for anything there. Uh, the bees will also come to a flower They'll, research, they'll look into it, see if there's any nectar, they'll leave and they'll come back to that same flower. It's just that there's not much resource out there and they're trying to find any they can. So do the best you can to research and understand the dearth because it's very critical. And if you don't do things properly, you're going to lose your hives and you're gonna lose your hives as weaker hives and even your stronger hives, uh, possibly to the pest sets as the, the wax moss, small hive beetles. So you need to make sure you pull off um, the extra supers, the extra frames that uh, the bees can't cover. By covering, I mean, you gotta have enough bees kind of patrolling all the comb and removing particularly the wax moths and things like that. So pay attention to what dearth is all about. And it's one of the most critical times a beekeeper can, um, can experience.